Welcome in everybody. Before we get into today's update and I play the intro, I need to go over what you can expect. First, we're gonna talk about XRP. As I talked about in my video at 5 a.m., I came on approximately 5.15 this morning and I told everybody some days I have to come on a lot earlier because it's just warranted. And today, it was warranted. And I warned about a flash drop with XRP and now we're sitting at 0.377, which is at S2 right now. S3 is about 3.55, so. That would be the worst case scenario right now in the falling channel. If we go to the falling channel support, as we know, in the falling channel, the support's at approximately 355 right now, and the resistance is at about 40 cents. Um, the other thing we need to pay attention to is if you look behind me, the Dow's down 412 points, S&P's down 58, and NASDAQ's down 229 points right now. So right now, the markets are getting hammered. Crypto's under a lot of pressure. The total crypto market cap went under $1.02 trillion. So we have a lot of stuff to talk about in this update. I would greatly appreciate it if you share this. It's the only way I can get new people in here. But also, the most important thing is to hit that like button. Hit that like button. If you like XRP or just hit the like button if you like me at all. It helps push me through the analytics. And it can help get this video out there very quickly as it's going to be very, very important. I'll catch you on the other side of the intro. Wow, uh, Tom, you know, I'm getting real sick and tired of this up and down, side to side. XRP never can get over 40 cents and stay. Why the hell should I think it's going over a dollar? This is bullshit. Bob, you should be very happy right now. XRP sitting at 0 0.3754 with flash drop. And as we talked about earlier, just on the day now, we're down better than 3.48%. Wow, uh, Tom, you know, I'm getting tired of this. Like, what am I supposed to buy this shit? Well, Bob, first of all, it's not shit. You know what? For anybody who doesn't know, Bob is the every man and woman who tries to talk about XRP and cryptocurrency or from the charts, but doesn't actually understand. Claims to watch everything, claims to be watching and stay in the course, but always has these weird concocted stories about what's going on in the market. Why? Because he listens to the nonsensical people. Wow, wow, Tom, you know, what does that mean? What are you trying to say? I'm a dope? Well, Bob, I'm not trying to say you're a dope, but do you watch my updates? Wow, wow, Tom, I don't know why you're such a grouch. I'm just trying to tell you what's going on. Bob, I... Okay, Bob, can I get to the update? If you would let me talk, the reason why we're breaking down so is because XRP and crypto is under a lot of pressure because of what's going on, not just by the IMF, but also what's going on with the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission. There's a lot of things coming out. So there's no way that crypto in the stock market is just going to run unabated. And that's all I've been saying, Bob. Wow, wow, Tom, couldn't you just say that instead of running through circles? <sighs> Jesus Christ, Bob. All right, enough of you. I need to get into this update. So, <sighs> finally, good morning. 11.22 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on this Friday, February 24th, 2023. I'm XRP Future Millionaire, and I reside in the great state of Michigan. Fucking Bob, man. That guy has to tell you what. Fucking asshole. Um, anyhow, XRP sits at 0.3754, down 3.32%. Like I've been saying, for the better part of forever, we're not ready to just keep going up unabated. We don't have enough support. The institutions aren't buying like we need them to buy. And not just XRP, crypto as a whole, there's too much uncertainty. And this is why I talked about, we diagnosed this falling channel very quickly. Resistance one, and let me get out my drawing tool real quick. We're not going to go over definitions or anything because this is too important of an update for that. So first thing we did, we popped up and we said, all right, resistance one right here. 432, that's where the falling channel started, the resistance on January 23rd. Down to support. Fell in the exact same day and we came right down to the falling channel. So we knew that was our support one. So we have R1, support one. R1 is resistance, S1 is support. That's what I do, R1, S1. And then I'll give you levels and I'll show you what I gave today. Came up, support, S2. 
resistance two, S1, S2, resistance three, resistance four. So when this happened, we're like, well, unless we break down, we have to come back up here. So we knew even when it was dick in here, we had to come up here and at least confirm that falling channel resistance. I don't make the rules. This is just what happens in a falling channel. A lot of people tried to say it was other things and yada, 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 but it ended up playing true like we thought in the falling channel. So now the 386 I put out in my telegram, and this was just if anybody wanted to short the market. At the 386 level, I put it out here as well. And I said, once we get the rejection this morning at 386, you're more than welcome to short it down. First level would be 377. We broke that. And now you could ultimately try to play at the 355. But the first level was 13.09% on the 7X short. And it was a 90-minute trade. Now, if you consider all the way down, you know, it's whatever. But just these little moments within the channel. And that 386 is very important. That, to me... And nobody is going to say, oh, that's just a pivot level because it's not a traditional pivot level. It's my pivot level. I don't give a shit what the pivot level definition is. I use it on my chart as a pivot level. So if XRP Future Millionaire, a.k.a. Tom, uses that line as his pivot level, it is a pivot level on my chart. So it is a, yes, a pivot. That's a pivot level. The reason why it's a pivot level for me is because if it's on the bottom side, it can dump very quickly. If it's on the top side, that's how you push to the 40 cent mark. There's really no in between for me. You had the 377 within here, so you had to respect it because we had other areas back here, even where we couldn't get through 37 cents. And then when we did, it just quickly pulled up. But now we're on the bottom side of 386. And now for me, I'm looking at the 355. If we quickly can't pull up here, because nobody says we can't pull back up, but the fact we're on the bottom side of 377. So today when we had the setup, when I came on at 5 a.m. or 5.15, we had, and let me get out my arrow real quick. We had S1 right here at 386, S2 at 377, and S3, which would be support three, would be the falling channel support at 355. So now we're going to see, are we going to back test the 377 and hit that as resistance? Let me put this up here the way I had it. Because we can put this here just so for future reference we'll have it. Yeah, close enough. But that's what we're looking at. Somewhere in there. 377 um, and then 355. And then, hold on one sec. Let me just do this real quick. Just so in case somebody comes in or we're talking later just so we can see exactly close enough that is close enough so 377 right there 377 so th that's basically your s1 s2 right there and then s3 would be right down where i pointed the arrow down to 377 or uh, 355 and then resistance one this morning we did it very simple we did the 392, even though I said 391, 392 was the overextension, and then 40 cents. So 391, 40 cents, but we said 392 just in case it ran up. But 391 was the real resistance I said on the show. 391, and then 40 cents was S, or, uh, R2, R3 was 412, or uh, 414. And that was, if we wanted to say it was an ascending triangle pattern, that was this um, flat resistance that we were using that it never came back over. And then even when it did, it just broke back down. But I, I firmly thought we were in a falling channel. And that's what it looks like we're in. It looks like it played out truthfully. We had three hits on support. Actually, four now. And we've had three hits on resistance. So now it looks like we're... If we can't come back over, like I said, this pattern will show us a lot right now. Now that we fall below the 377, now if it comes up here and rejects on the 377, we know we're coming down here and we created like this topping reversal. Had in, you know, that's a topping reversal. And if it breaks down, now we're in some trouble. So this is the area you're not going to want to break if you want this pattern to stay bullish because you don't want to break this falling channel, that's for sure. Very bearish if you fall outside the falling channel. So that's what I got for you this morning, guys. I want to keep it straight with you with XRP. I want you to understand exactly what's going on. If we don't get back on top of 377 and get rejected there, you can look at 355 maybe in the immediate short term. So this was what I was fearing this morning when I got up. Just the news with the IMF. So that's why I did a really early update this morning. We've got the DXY up over 105 now. 105 spot 164. We talked about it. This is no secret, folks. No secret. And the reason why I can say that with 100% confidence is we talked about it right when it broke out of what I call the ascending formation. Ascending resistance. Ascending support. We talked about the moment that it came up here. 
and broke 104 spot 43 and held it, which was right here on the 23rd, that we would start going up and make our way up towards 106 spot 20. Does it not look like we're starting to make our journey up there right now? We said the only spot we could get rejected by, ironically, is right here at the 105 spot, roughly 30 area. So let me put this in here. But this is the only real spot you can get rejected on the way up. So I guess I better have it in there for now, for the run up. But that would be because you could fail the cup and handle there. And that's why that was so important. And we put the last hope here because we need to get out of here with the U.S. dollar. Otherwise, it was done. Done. And we also talked about our two bounces. That it, The bottom possibility was if we didn't break 100 spot 358, we thought it was going to happen to come back up to 106 spot 20. We just didn't know how long it was going to take. And now we see it took a minute. But we started getting back up here now. So we do know what we're talking about here. It's just I'm very far out ahead. So sometimes it makes me look like an asshole when the the immediate move isn't done yet. But as the moves play out, you can see in the grand scheme, we're on the money. Uh, gold and silver, as we anticipated, wasn't ready to just go parabolic. But we'll talk about this more in silver stacking episode number seven. But we are working our way down to that 1796 support since we broke the 1825 as we expected. And then we've got silver, same thing. Silver, we're expecting to come up to this uptrending support. And that's right around $20.41. But once we break that, if we do it like I'm, I'm anticipating, we should come down to about eighteen sixty. Hopefully. Hopefully. Looking for some good deals here. So we'll end it with, as you can see, the total crypto market cap's at $1.015 uh, trillion. But it's working its way down, just like we've been saying. It's got to come back down here and retest the $990 billion now that it came to the bottom side on the two-hour time frame we were talking earlier. So now we'll see if nine hundred and ninety billion can hold. If not, we're coming to nine hundred and forty billion very quickly here, especially if this is rolling ahead. Um, and then Bitcoin, and I'll let you go. Bitcoin's at twenty three thousand one forty, down eight hundred points or three point three five percent on the day. And we're now falling below the uptrend. And we talked about this. If we broke the uptrend and confirmed it. <coughs> And that would be a hit on the bottom side of 23,800. You would come down to 21,965 and go from there. But our multi year trend line still is way down here at 19,600. So pay attention, be alert. If you got any value out of this, hit the like button. Consider subscribing to the uh, channel. And then in the video description below, in pin message, there's a link for BitGat and or Maxi. There's no spot fees on the buy or sell. And they do have XRP for the USA. And then if you want to join Tom's Army, that's in the link below. Hashtag be better, do better.